I'm going to show you how to get your best flexi rod set ever. Let's relax for a little vibe. Make sure you wash your hair before you start any type of style. This creates a smooth foundation for your style to really pop the way you want it to. For this flexi rod set, I use Bread Beauty Supplies products and I'm going to list every product in the description. The star of the show is this new hair foam that they just came out with. Honey, this is not one of the ones to be played with. Once you have washed your hair fully with a clarifying and moisturizing shampoo and some type of conditioner, then we can move on to spraying our hair with water to rehydrate it and then we're going to apply that foam. After the first application of the hair foam, you want to detangle, so make sure you pull out your favorite detangling brush. I personally truly enjoy the TikTok viral on brush, y'all. It does not play any games. For this style, it's very important that you find any tangles and get rid of them. Be very gentle with your hair and try not to cause any extra breakage. If needed, make sure you detangle in smaller sections to avoid extreme breakage. If you do not detangle fully before you place your flexi rods, you are going to end up with matted roots. This is not good for the health of your hair, so just make sure you're getting all the way in the crevices of the roots. When you fully detangle, you should see your curls pop something a little bit like this, okay? This should be pretty defined and looking pretty hydrated. Now the moment you've been waiting for, let's go ahead and start putting our rods in. You want to make sure you smooth the hair all the way down. If you don't smooth the hair all the way down, you are not going to end up with the perfect curl for your flexi rod. In order to get your ends on the flexi rod, you want to smooth all the way around to get that ringlet curl that we love at the ends. Now twirl this all the way up to the top, and once you get to the top, just push the sides in. You're going to do the same routine for each section, but for the front section, we're going to do it a little bit different. If you're wanting that cute curly bang like effect, you want to use different size flexi rods. As you see in my hair, I have three different size flexi rods from small, medium, and large. This is truly the key to getting a full and voluminous flexi rod set. For the curly bang, I use a mix of small and medium flexi rods. I used four small ones and then one medium one for each side of my bang. And again, you want to smooth those ends all the way around the rod and then twirl around so that the ends are secured. And for the bang effect, you want the rods to lay down instead of sideways. Another key for your flexi rod set is to make sure your hair is fully saturated with your mousse before you put it on the flexi rod. If your hair is dry and or frizzy before you put it on the flexi rod, that is exactly how it's going to dry once you take it out. Now this is a rod set y'all and y'all remember back in the day when we used to go to the hair salon, we used to sit under the hood dryer. 
So for this set, you want to sit under a hood dryer or some type of equivalent. I have this at home hood dryer and it's linked in my description as well. I love it, it's an ionic one and it has low and high heat. I sit under my dryer for about an hour on high heat. You can decide if you want to adjust that temperature. And I also sleep with my flexi rides in overnight just to make sure the curl is fully set and my hair is fully dry. Now you take your oil, apply that generously to your hands, and now it's time to reveal. You want to very gently separate your curls where they naturally come apart. I normally twist my curl in the other direction when I am taking it out of the big curl so that it can go in the regular direction of its flow. This prevents extra frizz because you're essentially turning it in the same direction as it was before. Twirl the ends to help reinforce the curl and give you that bouncy like effect. I'm not gonna lie, that hair foam gave my hair so much shine and my hair felt so moisturized and soft, like, oh my gosh, unmatched. So here you see what it looks like if you don't unravel your curls. So let's do the other side. Can we just give a round of applause for the results? Because I really wasn't expecting this flexi ride to eat like this, honey. Like it literally is chomp chomp eating. Bread Beauty Supply really did their big one on that new hair foam. And y'all, I cannot wait to use it again for a wash and go. Make sure y'all fluff y'all hair out and help get rid of that middle part in the back, all right? I hope this flexi ride tutorial was useful for you and I hope it'll help you get the perfect flexi ride of your dreams. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Madam J tutorials.